And here he is, Baro Katia has returned. He can be found on the Orcus Relay, which is on Pluto on all platforms. So let's just jump in and of course, see what he has brought this week. There is the Ultra Sentinel Wings. Hmm. Torn on that. Literally. I'm trying to imagine them in different colors, but uh, yeah, let's just move on. Banged Fusilord, 120% slash for rifle, uh, primed ammo stock, that's a magazine capacity for shotgun by 110%. The Prisma... Can't really see the effect that much. The Prisma effect for the Yamako Sandana. Actually, you can barely make out the Prisma effect on these. Ugh, the light is uh, blurring it out. It's basically just in the lower parts. The Prisma... Mechhead Sentinel Mask, same thing, it's across the bottom of the Sentinel Mask. The Prisma Scanner, much more obvious, the Prisma Effect in the tip here. Ooh, tradable weapon as well, by the way. Mark of the Beast, uh, trying to explain that one is a bit of a pain, but on six second, on six melee kills within six seconds, plus 120% status and critical chance for secondary weapon. It's for thrown melee while you have a pistol in your hand. The Zephos Prisma skin, again, Prisma effect uh, looking absolutely amazing. I love the pris Prisma effect. I wish they would do more of the newer ships, like the Nightwave ship or the one from the Zaramon. Yeah, those ships would look really nice. The Cal ship. There is the Katia arrow skin, can go on basically any bow and just replaces what the arrow looks like. There is the Prisma machete, scanner's better. Five times corrupted heavy spectre blueprints. Uh, not blueprints, pre-built ones. It's the other one, it is <laughs> one blueprint to build one. This you get five and they are pre-built. Glaring sigil. Uh, oh, it's open for the other one as well. The Katia stencil for your personal quarters. There is the bronze cavat bust. I do need to pick these up and actually put them somewhere. The Azura Luxem ornament, landing craft decoration, just like the bust. Primed Rabido Lined Barrel. 187% damage for Orc Gun. It's kind of a must if you have an Orc Gun that has a Gravamag in it. Definitely. There is the Longsword Skin that makes it look like a giant stick. Come on, turn. To the Tanukai Longsword Skin. I do actually really like that, but I wish that was an actual weapon. Rhapsody in blue. Landing Craft Display Art. The Gora Immortal skin, still torn on this one. Most of the Immortal skins look pretty nice, but there's just something about this. The glass kind of looks uh, dirty, but you can always change it to look like it's supposed to. There is the Katia Greth chest plate, which doesn't look too bad. The Katia Greth leg plates, same thing physics on them makes them look not too bad and then you've got the chest plates yeah hard pass there's no physics on them and it literally looks like a shelf on your shoulder maska's third light crew suit hmm then there is the maska's third light crew suit hood then obviously the sleeves ending with the leggings which you can't really see too much with the 10 year anniversary thing going on in the background in the Lotus. I love the dragon on the back of the 10 year anniversary thing. Does look really nice. Why saw Day of the Dead? Cavat armor. Yeah, still equipped on most of, one of my cavats. The Dark Sword Day of the Dead skin. I wish they would just give us the ability to rotate these ourselves so we can actually see the weapons. Day of the Dead Dread skin or the Dread Day of the Dead skin. <laughs> there is the In Mabele Glyph. Can't remember how you got that the first time round, but uh, this is I don't have it, so we'll leave it at that. Sands of Anora's Blueprint, the Fear Path Ephemera, even if you already have it. And of course, if you come to see him with Anora's Prime equipped, all the way at the bottom will be the Barrow Void Signal, allows you to do a defense mission with Barrow to get the Elixir's armor set. Kind of handy and much cheaper to do it that way than to actually buy it. Plus, it's a fun mission, they are tradable, they also stack, even if it does say you've got none. 
Still a little bit torn on this. It doesn't look too bad. It just looks backwards. Should Looks like it should be there, but... Mm, really am torn on that one, whether that looks nice or not. But... With that, of course, he will be around, as you can see in the bottom left, for two days. He will leave on Let's Sunday, and yes, that was me just double-checking. Sure if he has anything you want, don't worry. If you can't get in on Saturday or the rest of today to pick it up, everything he brings will cycle back through eventually. And with that, we'll leave this off here. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.